So I'm on my lunch break from work and my yard, my grass is like way up over ankle high. <laughs> no mo may, baby. <clears throat> Voice is coming back a little better. Uh, still haven't moved Jane Lane. That's where I came in with it Sunday and where I parked it. Uh, I still have this. Which is beautiful, I think. I do think it is beautiful. Like the whole setup, the damn dually, the trailer. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, great place to film. Like awesome backdrop for me. Ha ha ha. But you know me guys, I always, uh, I always run the oddball product. That, that's just me. But I thought I'd just do a quick little video. Oh, this thing's full of Harleys. <laughs> the Bike Week bikes. So, I have no idea how much longer it's going to be in my yard. But, kind of don't mind it here. It looks good. So, we learned that Jangling did awesome. But there's some things I wanted to recap on. The dead bodies. <clears throat> you know, I mentioned that on Facebook in a post. And I'm just like... I mentioned dead bodies and I put in parentheses, that's a whole nother story. It is a whole nother story. Apparently, Friday night down there in whatever little town we were staying in, out in the country, uh, two teenagers were in a car and they got into a bad wreck and got ejected and they were actually in the middle of the road. So that was why we had to take that 20 mile detour because of that incident. Um, so I figured I'd clarify what the hell was going on there. I know a lot of people were just like, what the fuck? You know, dead bodies. Um, something else that I learned about Jenga Lane. I want to put AC back on it. <laughs> and me and Dustin have been talking about, we talked about it once anyway. He's like, we got to get on making you a bracket to actually um, allow me to put AC back on there. So there's that. Right now, I'm looking for a single or for a uh, tilt, a non-tilt column. Damn, I'm confused today. Non-tilt column. So I can replace my steering column. Because it is fucked again. And it's like way worse. Um, subwoofers. I need six recones. And I mean, I don't necessarily need them. Um... For the first time ever at the Made of Steel show, I started turning up to volume 29. And 29 was about like how volume 28 was at Ruckus when I broke the, the door. But after playing for a while at Made of Steel, toward the end of the day Saturday, at 29 the subs started bottoming. Them subs are not really made for what I do with them. I mean, they're, they're made to play lows. They play lows extremely well. It's just, I have so much power and I'm playing so low that the uh, spider packs in them are just shot pretty much. They're loose as shit. Caused them to bottom under way over rated power. <laughs> so I kind of need recones for them. Um... I did place an order with my supervisor today for new compression drivers for my doors. Can't afford the recones right now, but I can afford four new drivers for my horns. So I didn't order the front horns because I really like the, the smooth horn that I have in there for the drivers. So hopefully the DS18 drivers bolt right on, which I will see why they wouldn't. Other than that, guys, I don't have a shitload of information for you. Um, it was a great show. I got, like, tons of demos that were on my bucket list. And I can honestly say that some of them big builds made me want to throw my Jeep in the trash. Um, I mean, that's what it is to it. The dude, I think his name's Josh, that was parked beside Joe Sparky Dom. Like, his build was so nasty. Lorenzo. His bill was nasty. Now, I've been friends with Lorenzo on Facebook for a hot minute. Um, and we have never really chatted a lot on Facebook. 
Uh, we watch each other's posts, apparently, because when I got in, he knew who I was and everything. But I had watched Lorenzo in his van give some demos, and I mean, hair tricking, but they looked just weak when he's sitting there beside that Josh dude and then Joel, you know, because Joel's like the windiest dude out there, but I was just like, something's up with this, you know. It's got the wrap on it and everything. I know that Joel's worked on it, like, what's up? And mind you, this was Friday, and a lot of people were going easy on Friday to prepare for Saturday. But um, when I got in there, he turned that bitch up, and I was just like, hell yeah, cause it was nasty. And I'm like, I knew you were sandbagging, bro. And he's like, well, of course, you know. So Lorenzo is a cool-ass dude, man. Um, so a lot of them builds made me want to throw Jangalang lang in the trash. Joel got a demo in Jangalang and said he was actually just impressed with how well it played that damn 16 to 42 hertz range. And said there's not, he don't think there's a whole lot more I can do in there, you know. But, uh, anyway, just wanted to give y'all an update. And, dude, just, it was an awesome show. The drive wasn't terrible. It got hot as shit at times, like. Where I felt like my legs were cooking. And you know, if you got Vibroflex in a vehicle, that shit stinks after you go on a decent drive and it gets hot. I had got to the point where my Vibroflex quit smelling. It got so damn hot in there. Like it stunk like shit for about four hours, then it just quit. <laughs> so I don't even know what the hell that's about. I smelled it a little bit on the way home, but not much. Uh, yeah, just... Everything in general, guys. I, I was tired of shit all day yesterday. Yesterday was Tuesday. So Monday, I was just beat ragged. Tuesday, I didn't feel much better. Today, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Like, I think Monday, I felt like I was in a car wreck. And I was asleep for half of the day. My voice was pretty much gone Monday and Tuesday. So that's why I didn't do much for uh, the internet. The DS-18 trailer, a lot of people thought that DS-18 might have actually gave me that. Cause I said, you know, in my video, like, they left me something at the house. I had already knew they were bringing it. I just thought it would be cool to have it in a video, you know. Um, apparently, you know, there's two bike weeks in Myrtle Beach. We have uh, Bike Week, and we have Black Bike Week. It's always been called Black Bike Week to the locals. The official name of it is Bike Fest. When I first moved here in 2013, it was primarily for the darker skin tone bikers but now you know regular bike week is uh, just a big melting pot because there are so many different nationality or whatever getting into uh the bike scene that now both bike weeks are pretty well just mixed to different races of people so anyway um we're like at the calm right now between the two bike weeks so uh, more than likely somebody's going to come get that in the next day or two and get it set up for black bike week. And if schedules conflict, it might just be leaving out of here and going somewhere else. I have no clue. They did leave me the keys to it. <laughs> I wish they'd just be like, yeah, we're going to send somebody for the trailer. Uh, take the dually and go to slam. That would be awesome. But, uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to touch base, let y'all know what the shit's going on. I, I did meet a lot of great people like Mike Melizo with the Windy City Bourbon. Awesome dude in person, man. I've talked to him online before years and years ago, before anybody even knew who the hell I really was. And I, he, he just didn't seem like that cool a person to me. But when I actually met him in person Saturday, uh, just nothing but respect both ways. You know, John Kent was awesome as shit. He's the owner of Rogue Audio for letting me actually park in his spot Friday to get out of the sun. Uh, awesome dude. He does a lot with Made of Steel, and I think he put on a great show. They had the fucking stunt walls off by themselves, which made the show that much better. I wish every show would do that. They basically put them all in one area and let them just battle it out amongst themselves, you know. Uh, I don't know, guys. I mean... It's 2024. People is like way more forgiving now, you know? People are understanding. You know, everything's cool now. Whatever you want to do, it's cool now. So I don't understand why guys don't just come out of the closet 
but instead they built a stunt wall. I don't get it. But anyway, guys, uh, thank y'all for watching this, man. Use my affiliate links, like uh, my Down for Sound link and all that stuff. It helps a whole lot. I did get the update from LF Audio. He's putting everything right together right now. And by next week, that shit boot should be shipping out. So I should have a badass wireless bass knob to do a video on. And then hopefully I get my next my new horns next week. But I don't know what I got coming up for this coming weekend. I have no clue at all. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Uh, yeah. Might go get wood for the blazer and get back on that project. That would be the thing to do, right, guys? Anyway, thank you all for watching my shit. Those of you that I met at Made It Still, it was a pleasure meeting everybody. I cannot remember everybody's name. Uh, I don't even remember my dog's name half the time. <clears throat> but uh, Made It Still is now officially my favorite show. I wish it was closer. I wish it was cooler, like Ruckus, but... If you could combine them two shows, it would be like the mega extreme show. I'm probably not going to Slamology after that long ass drive uh, to Florida. Do I think the Jeep will make it to Slamology? Hell yeah, get in it right now and go. The heat, guys. I do not want to do that drive in the heat without AC. Uh, the drive didn't bother me. I mean, the suspension on that Jeep is like phenomenal, which uh, you all know you watched me upgrade it like six months ago. So the suspension is phenomenal, but just the no AC, it sucks ass, and it's going to be even hotter at Slam, so hell no, I will not be going to Slam. If we do, we're going to take the Rogue, so <laughs> who knows? I don't even know what's going on between now and then, but more than likely not. Anyway, guys, y'all keep it fresh. Peace out, and as always, base on.